I don't want you to feel like I'm just picking on her randomly either, just making this stuff up. I don't do that. I, uh, I want to play voicemail for you to show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love her, but my God. <laughs> this particular voicemail uh, I'm gonna talk about, she is leaving me a message about a dinner that she is going to that I am not going to, that she's already told me about at least five times. So my interest in this subject, pretty low. <laughs> pretty rock bottom. She's going with this guy named Brad, it's just the two of them. Normally I wouldn't like that. I'm out of town, she's going to dinner with some other dude, but I've met Brad. He's a nice guy, he's a coworker. He's married, a couple kids. And this probably shouldn't be important, but it's very important to me. When I met Brad, I realized immediately that he's a lot shorter than me, and he has less hair, and he's weaker looking physically. <laughs> I knew that I would destroy him in a physical battle. He's a small, waifish man with an especially skinny neck. And I remember that neck detail, because when I saw him, I had a weird fantasy that if he wasn't paying attention, and I got a running start, I thought I could probably punch his head off his neck. Like a dandelion kind of thing. And that gives me great comfort. And they can have girls' night whenever they want, you know? So here's the voicemail I get. Hey, baby, it's just me. It's 4.40 and... Okay, we're only four seconds in, but I want to address a few things. So far, you've heard two things, and I like to think that as reasonable adults, you can agree that both of them were completely unnecessary. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but she's definitely, definitely wasted, objectively, four seconds of my life so far. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> hey, baby, it's just me. Yeah, <laughs> sure is. <laughs> you know, incredibly, I knew that before ever listening to this voicemail, because you left it on what's referred to as a cell phone, <laughs> where your name is assigned to each and every voicemail you leave. That name is currently in the favorite section. We're going to reevaluate that. We're going to rethink that. And you're right. It's exactly 440, because uh, that's what time the voicemail says, because all of them are timestamped since the beginning of voicemail technology. So, great job. Two for two on facts. 100% uh, accuracy so far on things I don't care about. And she gets into it. I've heard this voicemail a lot of times and it still legitimately upsets me. <laughs> Why would I possibly care how Brad is getting to a dinner I'm not going to? Am I gonna be relieved knowing Brad's route to this dinner? He is, he is taking the 405. Oh, thank Christ, thank Christ. I didn't wanna say anything, but I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't sleep. I just kept laying there, just tossing and turning, just thinking, how the fuck is Brad getting to dinner tomorrow? I hope he takes a four or five, because that's definitely the best route. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I would only care if his journey was amazing and significant and a good piece of story. You know, like, definitely tell me if it's something like, hey, babe, uh, Brad and I are going to dinner, as I told you, but he was able to pick up a couple of nuclear-powered jetpacks, and a friend of his opened a rift in the space-time continuum, and we are going to have dinner in New Orleans in 1873. And I'd be like, you are full of shit, but thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for making that bearable. I appreciate that effort. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not done. play the rest because it goes on for quite some time and I can tell that some of you are getting genuinely irritated yourselves. <laughs> I do love Lindsay, by the way. I just, I just feel like I love her the most when she's sound asleep. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. So quiet. <laughs> 